Hi, I'm Himanshu, a correspondent with Down to Earth. Today, we are going to talk about avian flu in the Arctic region. A death of polar bear due to avian flu has been reported near Utkiagvik in Alaska's northernmost community, according to Alaska Department of Environmental Conservation. The death of the polar bear was confirmed in December 2023 after the samples of polar bear tissues collected showed the presence of the virus. The department shared the findings recently. This virus is the highly pathogenic avian influenza HPAI that has spread into the most remote parts of the planet, including the Arctic region. The polar bear is suspected to have contracted the disease after feeding on the carcass of an infected bird. Speaking with the news website Alaska Beacon, a veterinarian from Alaska State, Bob Gerlash said, This is the first polar bear case reported for anywhere. He explained that while polar bears normally eat seals, they hunt from the sea ice. It appeared likely that this bear was scavenging on the dead birds and ingested the influenza virus that way. HPAI was first detected in the Arctic region in the second week of April 2023 among birds and a fox. The virus is suspected to have traveled to the region via migratory birds. First reported in poultry, the HPAI outbreak of variant H5N1 started in 2021 after it spread rapidly among wild bird populations and spread to the different parts of the world. Ecosystems in polar regions are particularly vulnerable to bird flu because they contain many animals found nowhere else in the world and never have been exposed to similar viruses. Moreover, viruses tend to live longer on dead animals due to cold conditions, the scientist said. Scientists keeping a close watch on the spread of infection in Antarctica fear that during austral spring, the contagion may spread in dense populations of penguins in the peninsula region. If the virus happens to reach the peninsula region, it may lead to one of the largest ecological disasters of modern times, they warned. To know more about the latest developments in science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description below.